Good evening, class. Tonight I'll be explaining the assignment method. Uh, the assignment method is used to assign consultants to clients and their jobs. Um, it is important that there is a one-to-one -one ratio between the consultants and the clients. Um, these numbers represent the days for the consultants to complete the client's requests. So our first order of business is to develop opportunity costs. Um, the first step is to subtract minimum values from each rows. Um, the second step will be to subtract the minimum values from each column. And our last step um, is to acquire our improved solution. So moving on, um, to develop our opportunity cost, we first have to find the row reduction. Um, you find the minimum value in each row. So as you can see in, this, uh, in the original table, the minimum value is 9. So you subtract 9 from 10, 9 from 15, and 9 from 9. And that will transform into 1, 6, and 0. And then you'll follow the same steps for the next two rows. OK, and continuing on. Um, for our column reduction, you will find the minimum value in each column. So, for example, in C1, 1 is the minimum value here. So you subtract 1 from 1, 1 from 4, and 1 from 3. Um, and that will transform into 0, 3, and 2. And you'll continue those steps onward to the other columns. So to test for optimal, um, you have to cross out the zeros with the minimal amount of lines as possible. Um, so this top line here, all zeros across, there's line 1, and these zeros this way is line 2. So to test for optimality, um, it's only optimal when the lines equal the amount of rows or the amount of columns. Uh, as you can see, there are three rows and three columns and only two lines, so this is not optimal. Okay, so for our improved solution, uh, you take the remaining values that are in the box, uh, you take the minimum value and subtract each value. So 2 by 3, 2 by 2, 2 by 7, and 2 by 5. And as you can see over on this table, uh, that transforms into 1, 5, 3, and 0. So after our improved solution, um, there are now three lines um, in the table equaling the amount of rows and columns, meaning that our equation is indeed optimal. Good. Okay, so now we're moving on to the assignment of consultants to clients. Um, as you can see, these zeros, they represent um, an assignment that can be done. Um, we usually like to start off in the row that only has one assignment, meaning that this consultant can only be moved to one client. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Carly can only be assigned to one client, so what we're going to do is we're going to cross off this line and this line because no other consultant can uh, pick up that client. Um, as you can see, there are two options here, and there's one option left on the bottom for Jones, so we're going to cross off this line, and that means there's only one client left for Terry. So Terry gets that client, and we'll cross that off as well. Okay, so after our assignments, we're going to move back to the original table. Um, as you can see, Terry was moved to client 2. So on the original table, Terry to client 2 takes 15 days. Um, Carly was moved to client 3. So Carly to client 3, which takes 5 days. And then Jones to client 1, which takes 6 days. And the sum represents the minimum amount of time to complete all of the assignments.